Hello, welcome back everyone uh, to our channel NCERT 11 and 12. Here we are going to learn uh, straight uh, from NCERT uh, chemistry and science books. Uh, and we'll be doing uh, the lessons, all the lessons line to line. So today we are going to uh, do class 10 science NCRT. So as you all know, we were, uh, we have already started the lessons, second lesson acid, bases and salts and uh, we have already finished a part of the lesson. And in our previous session, we learned about the importance of pH in everyday life and uh, we discussed all the uh, you know what to, all the concepts about pH value and uh, uh, about the importance uh, and uh, so today I uh, will just start uh, with the concept more about salts okay uh, in uh, previous textbooks it's uh, given in page number 28 topic 2.4 so already we uh, learned in the last session how salts are formed during chemical reactions you know acids and bases uh, react to form salts and how salts are formed various uh, situations and reactions we had already learned in our previous sessions. So today we will uh, try to understand more about uh, uh, their preparations, properties and uses. So it is very important in chemistry that you should know about the properties and how these salts are prepared and what are the uses of these salts. Okay, And uh, uh, you know salts, what are salts actually? Uh, remember that uh, as I already said like when a, in a chemical reaction acids and bases reacts to give you salts and salts of strong acid and strong base it will be always neutral. What is meant by neutral? The pH value will be 7. I already uh, discussed in detail regarding the pH value in our previous videos. So those who haven't watched those uh, do go back to the previous video watch it and then uh, only if you watch this session you will find it easy. Suppose salts of uh, strong acid and weak base, these will be acidic. What is meant by acidic? pH value will be less than 7. So you uh, know whether uh, you know a substance is uh, acidic or basic by just knowing the pH value. Okay, And um, if it is a strong base and a weak base, uh, acid, it will be basic in nature. What is meant by basic in nature? The pH value will be more than 7. Okay. Now we will learn about the chemicals from common salt. So already you learned that uh, salts formed by combining HCl and uh, sodium hydroxide solution. It's called sodium chloride. That is when uh, sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid, you get sodium chloride. So you know chlo sodium chloride is a very common name in every household you have it. That is what you use in food. Okay. You know, when you prepare your food and all that, uh, you say that uh, you know the salt is less and all that. What salt is that? It is sodium chloride. Okay, and sodium chloride is always a neutral salt. What is meant by neutral salt? pH value of that is 7. And uh, sea water, you know, contains so many salts which is dissolved in it. And uh, when you extract sodium chloride from sea water, uh, you have to separate uh, the salt, uh, sodium chloride, from sea water, from other salts. Okay, and you can also see deposits of sodium salt in several parts of the world. Always, you know, it is coming as a very large crystals which are brown in color. Why is it brown in color? Naturally, you know, salt is uh, whitish in color, but when you get it first, it is brown due to the presence of impurities. So, this is called rock salt. Very important, you get it for your exams. Uh, uh, what is rock salt? The large crystals of sodium chloride uh, combined with it impurities. And beds of rock salts are formed when seas of bygone ages, you know, previous era, when it dries up, you can see the salts. And from there, you can mine the rock salt like coal. And also, you might have heard about uh, Gandhiji's Dandi Marsh. And uh, at that time, uh, sodium chloride was such an important symbol, symbol in a struggle for freedom. Okay, So, it is a very famous Dandi Marsh and all that you might have heard or learned that in your social studies. Now, let us see uh, the common salt. It is a raw material for chemicals. Okay, See, the common salt obtained, uh, it is very useful and so much of importance is there because you know it is a raw material for so many materials of daily use like sodium hydroxide, baking soda, washing soda, bleaching powder and so many other more. Now, let us see one substance is how you can use it to make different 
so many different substances you can make uh, using sodium chloride so first of all we'll start with sodium hydroxide how do you get sodium hydroxide using sodium chloride see here you have to pass the electricity through aqueous solution of sodium chloride you know sodium chloride uh, taken in water which is called brine so uh, it decomposes to form sodium hydroxide and this process is called chlor alkali ch chlor alkali process because chlorine the product formed uh, is chlorine that is chlor for chlorine and alkali for sodium hydroxide just uh, see in chemistry wherever you write a reaction it's very important that you must write the balanced equation for that otherwise your marks will get reduced see the reaction here 2 NaCl plus see first of all you just plainly write the equation NaCl plus H2O gives NaOH plus Cl2 plus hydrogen and after that you try to balance the equation ok how will you start balancing in this case first because you know that uh, chlorine it is 2 here in the right side but left side it is just NaCl so you first of all correct uh, chlorine by putting 2 on the left side ok now chlorine is ok balanced but sodium is 2 on the left side right side it is only 1 so put another 2 over here now sodium is balanced chlorine is also balanced but see hydrogen how much hydrogen is here 2 plus 2 4 so here only 2 is there on the left side so you put another 2 so hydrogen is also balanced so that is why oxygen finally no oxygen uh, 2 here also uh, left and right side both it is 2 so that is how you have to learn to write balanced equation so remember chlorine gas is given off at the anode and hydrogen gas at the cathode always you remember uh, where it is liberated and sodium hydroxide, hydroxide solution is formed near the cathode ok so the products all the products you get from the reaction are very useful and uh, in this figure you can see the different uses of products see here you know uh, at the anode see this is chlorine and the cathode hydrogen this is NaOH ok and you can see here see hydrogen and chlorine so it is used as fuel margarine ammonia for fertilizers and uh, here water treatment chlorine swimming pools disinfectants PVC and uh, hydrochloric acid for cleaning steel ammonium chloride medicines cosmetics and all that NaOH and uh, here degreasing metal soaps detergents paper making artificial fibers and bleach for household ble bleaches you know clothes and all are uh, you know you do bleaching for all that now we will see what is meant by bleaching powder it is very important chemical see as you all know chlorine is produced during the electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride so you will be normally asked what is meant by brine for your exam so you have to remember that brine is nothing else but it is aqueous sodium chloride ok sodium chloride solution so here chlorine gas which is uh, it is used uh, for the manufacture of bleaching powder so what is bleaching powder it is produced by the action of chlorine on dry slaked lime what is slaked lime it is calcium hydroxide another name is slaked lime so bleaching powder is represented as CaOCl2 ok plus H2O is the product so remember the manufacture of bleaching powder ok now uh, write the equation for that and also uh, remember the formula for bleaching powder and here you can also remember the formula for uh, uh, CaO Cl2 that is the formula for bleaching powder and slake at lime is CaOH twice now we will see the uses of uh, bleaching powder so it is mainly used for bleaching uh, cotton and linen in textile industry then for bleaching wood pulp in paper factories in washing clothes in laundry and also it is uh, another important use is as oxidizing agent in industries and disinfecting drinking water to make it free of germs ok so we will continue with the remaining uh, few uh, uh, salts also in our next session and uh, with that uh, one more session we will be completing this chapter then after that I will uh, help you out with the questions given uh, in the behind the textbook and uh, also the summary is very important you have to learn the summary also and I am uh, also I always uh, very happy and uh, proud to see that many students are subscribing to our uh, channel and uh, just uh, uh, don't go without just uh, just watching the videos and don't leave without subscribing those who haven't subscribed please do subscribe for, for the channel amazing world of uh, science and uh, regularly watch the channel for I will be uploading uh, science and especially chemistry from classes 8 to classes 
12 and because I'm morely moreover focusing on 10th and uh, 12th also will be starting quite soon because line to line uh, teaching it's uh, very rare uh, in YouTube and uh, many places so I think uh, many students can uh, take the benefit from this session so please do share with your friends also and thanks for watching